CAB stands for Campus Activities Board. Uh, we put on all of the concerts and dances and large-scale games and zombie apocalypses that happen here at the University of Mobile. First made me interested, I guess, would be the chance to put on concerts, uh, every, which is probably everyone's first motivation is to get to meet famous people. Um, but when I got here, I just I loved being involved in just about everything, and that was one of the first things I tried, and I found I loved it. So it was in some ways a fluke because it was just one of those things that I did on a whim, and then ended up falling in love with every aspect of it. I think my favorite part of being in cab is just the ability to wow people, to see their faces when something unexpected happens, and they're totally blown away when we bring out a surprise artist at a concert and they, they don't see it coming. Uh, when we turn on the LED wall we put behind them at covers or when we turn on the huge LED dance floor. Uh, something unexpected that takes it to the next level and they just, they're blown away. Many misconceptions. One, uh, we don't always get to meet famous people. Uh, it's, it's a lot more than that. Sometimes we just have to go and get them sandwiches and take it to their bus driver. Uh, and we don't ever get to meet them. We have a lot more work to do than most people think. Uh, there's a lot more work that goes into every single event that we do that I think people take for granted. And I mean, that's natural. We don't only put our friends in to covers or singer-songwriter showcase or the listening room. Uh, it is a very difficult process. So it's not all up to us. It's not all about our preferences. Uh, we don't determine every artist, but we determine it as a team. Uh, I've had to bring in artists that I don't like. Uh, I've had to play music I don't like. But we, we have to sacrifice our own preferences for the student body a lot. Uh, that's the benefit of having a team. I would say how much work goes into it, because I, I don't think it's seen, especially with stuff such as uh, Assassins or Humans vs. Zombies. A lot of people don't even know we do that at all. Uh, they, they're so preoccupied, and as they should be, because there's zombies after them. But they, they don't really realize that, you know, we're up almost 24-7 uh, taking text messages, settling disputes. And it, it's, a, it's a tough job. It's one that I love. Uh, I'm not complaining. But I, I think that people just don't, don't see that, and it's, it's nice to be appreciated. You know, this part about being a director might be the disappointment when a great idea doesn't come through. I think, because there are many things that, that we've thought would be amazing, and they would have been amazing, and then sometimes for budget reasons, sometimes just because it's not the best fit for the student body. Uh, there, there is a sacrifice that goes into it, because uh, it's, it's how we show our creativity, and sometimes it has to, like, like any, any field of art or work, sometimes you don't get what you want, and you just have to, you have to deal with that and do the best you can. And as it is, setting up chairs and curtains. And it's one of the most tedious, annoying things we have to do for almost every event. Sometimes we set them up, sometimes we take them down. I hate it. I hate it. Uh, being in CAB has taught me, I think, the most useful thing, how to deal with difficult people. Um, whether that's people on my team, uh, whether that's uh, people complaining because they didn't get into covers or didn't get into songwriter showcase, or um, someone shot them in assassins and they want to say it's not valid, and this person said it was valid, and then there are witnesses on both sides. Uh, and people get emotional with stuff like that, um, and you just have to you have to learn how to be a peacemaker, and that has been extremely valuable in in cab, but also in uh, other circumstances outside of cab. My plans for a career is to go into the ministry, and you have to learn how to be uh, how to be patient with people in the ministry, and cab is definitely taught me that. In addition to that, uh, learn how to work with a budget, I learn how to communicate well with others, and how to delegate responsibility. Just val valuable leadership skills um, all across the board. I think the biggest thing I've learned uh, is to leave your pride at the door. You have to work with people, and your goal is not to bring in things that you like, it's to bring in things that the student body will like. In essence, you work for them. Uh, so you, you have to leave your pride at the door. Sometimes you're going to get hurt because you can't please everyone. But you please as many people as you can. Even if that's not yourself, you need to try to do you work better with others. Because you do have to work on a team, and that's actually one of the most valuable things. My name is Jeremy Cruz. I am from Anniston, Alabama. I am a double major in theology and humanities with minors in 